You excited? It's Friday. I, you know what? Whenever she visits, it's a good day. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. We got to talk about all the awesome things happening around San Antonio this weekend. Yep. Joining us live is our friend Stephanie Guerra. She is an influencer behind the Instagram account. This is where I'm very careful. Puro rhymes with flinche. Essay. We'll have to come up with hey, some other rhyming words. You're, you're not hard to find. <laughs> Let's no. just put it that way. All right. You're an influencer. You, know, you have your fingers on the pulse of what's happening in San Antonio. And I'm very excited about the first thing we're going to talk about. There, San Antonio Ice House Week. There, this is a really fun uh, week that only started within the last few years. San Antonio is full of ice houses. I'm sure you all get people oh, yeah. visiting, right? And they're like, what's an ice house? Yeah. And it's such a weird concept to not know what an ice house is, but I love them. You know, you get to go out and explore. So this week is to find new ones and visit your favorite ones. It's all about meeting locals, um, your local watering hole. You know, a lot of them used to only serve beer, was really inexpensive, yeah. and a lot of them are still really affordable. Um, but try something new. You can visit their website, and there's ice houses all over San Antonio. And they so. have some good food at yes, some of these ice houses for as well. Sure. By the way, this is the only segment that Larry Ramirez has actually hung around for. <laughs> Because I knew when I said ice house, yes. I knew he would be interested. Larry, do you want to tell us your favorite ice house now? <laughs> hey, when y'all talk about local craft breweries? Yeah. yeah. Craft breweries, then he's in. Yeah. By the way, okay. do you have a favorite? Man, see, now me and Larry are in the same right, position. I'm, we don't want anyone to hate us. Well, oh. I'm just, I, I don't care if people hate me, so I'm just going to say one of my favorites yes. is the Dakota. Okay, I love the Dakota. I love the friendly spot. Friendly spot. And then too. if you want to keep it puro, there's Sanchez Ice House. Oh, um, yes. So yes, there's yes. a lot of ice houses. I'm, you know, always trying to be around downtown, east side, south side, west side, but there are plenty. If you want to go from. dance, go to Sanchez. Ice yes. <laughs> okay, so this next thing now starts today, but we actually have a month to see it. There's actually a special show going on at the public theater. Yes, this is, I'm super excited about this show, and tonight is sold out, so I'm excited for them, but I hope to catch it. It's going through March. Fabulous Monsters. So Diana Burbano made a play about two Latina rockers from Los Angeles back in the 70s. Um, and they kind of follow their life through one choosing the pop life, one choosing punk rock. Ups and downs of, you know, addiction and uh, making it on stage and not. And the really, really awesome part, I think, is that the soundtrack is done by San Antonio's own all-girl punk rock band, Faya. Um, and oh. Faya has members of Girl in a Coma. Girl in a Coma has been on an international stage. They're on Joan Jett's record label. Yeah. Faya tours with Joan Jett now. So it's really cool to see the two come together, and you can watch it here in San Antonio yeah. debut. I wasn't familiar with Faya. Yeah. Yes. But now I am. Yes. Okay. All right. We can't forget about Black Restaurant Week. It starts on Sunday. Yes. I'm excited for this. I'm so glad San Antonio has Black Restaurant Week. It's also been going on for a few years now. Support Black-owned businesses, not only during Black History Month, but all year long in San Antonio. Um, you know, we do have... Dream Week, we talked about this yes. when we first came on. There's hundreds of events, but those events carry on throughout the year and in all parts of San Antonio. Just last night, there was an amazing art exhibit opening at the Carver Community Center. Um, I saw another event going on at Halcyon, at, South, at Blue Star. So much fun, but you definitely want to get out and try all the different cuisines within Black Restaurant Week. Okay, yeah, and that, um, my mouth is watering. I know, this, I, I would say roots. this, you've been taking notes. Yes, you've been I'm, taking notes on all these different restaurants. I'm on a cleanse this week. Oh. So I'm just so you know that's like oh my god we did a story on that and I was like I yeah. have to go there and by the way we have a list on our website of all of the restaurants participating in Black Restaurant Week so it's a good thing to, to check out so what a lot of them are doing is donating a portion of their proceeds oh, yes. um, to to organizations yes. all right now let's talk about something that's happening next week the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce is doing something to celebrate. Women's History Month, yes. which is March. Yeah, so many months, so many things to celebrate <laughs> yes. in March. Yes. March, right? We're getting into spring festival season. Um, but uh, the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has a Women's Leadership Awards luncheon. Um, I believe this is the 12th annual one. They celebrate women leaders right here in San Antonio. So you'll see 
faces that you know and then women that you may have never heard of before that are breaking through in different realms of entrepreneurship, business, community, nonprofits. You can buy tickets to the luncheon. They normally sell out, so I would get them soon if you're going to. It's Wednesday. Um, and I actually went through an amazing program called the Latina Leadership Institute through the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I highly recommend it. Applications are actually open right now. It's a six month program. You meet once a week, once a month, but you learn to um, become, you're preparing for becoming an elected official, serving on boards and chambers, um, you know, all kinds of things that will take you to the next leadership level. But it's a really great program and it kind of kicks off with the luncheon every year. This is yeah. what I like about having her here is you just get all the background for everything and you know that it's all about san antonio yes but, it, but it's always a good thing to support your community and there's so much 100 percent agree so. and also just with the program for latina leadership institute there's always scholarships so when you're a member of the hispanic chamber or you support their events money goes back into their leadership program so they can provide scholarships so it goes back important. into the community yes all and, right and we always gab too much and there's stuff that we leave <laughs> out but you have a list Yes. On your always social media. Yes. So you I, can she, find out um, my Puro Pincha pics. I post them every <laughs> Wednesday. So sorry. I, I said knew it was going to happen. It That's happened. Okay. Um, next month is Contemporary Art Month. And then I also booked music for an upcoming series at Santico's in Cibolo with yep. all local bands on the patio. But you can find all of that on my social media. Kesat tags me also in the social post, so you can find us there. Yeah. Okay. She's not <laughs> hard to find, that. Stephanie. Thank you so Always much. Thank you. Your... Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching Kesat.